It's the NBA Weekend Style. The small forward with a big man's post game. Carmelo Anthony and the Denver Nuggets go up against the Chicago Bulls. Coming right up. everyone, Kevin Arlen here alongside my partner Clark Kellogg. Glad to have you join us tonight. It's the Denver Nuggets and the Chicago Bulls. Now the starting group for the Denver Nuggets. Melo, Martin, and Nene make up the front court trio. Billups and Aflalo are the backcourt. And for Chicago, Harper's out there with Michael Jordan. Then it's Dennis Rodman. Then it's Longley and Pippen. <laughs> Tip-off goes to Denver. And here is Billups. Outside Anthony. Guarded by Pippen. Let's go with a three. And Carmelo Anthony hits from deep. You know, it's always nice to get that lead early and to knock down the first basket of the game. That's a good feeling. Let's find out what Doris Burke has for us. Thank you, Kevin. Earlier I spoke with George Carl. This team's offensive forte is really just being smart with the ball and limiting their mistakes. And because of that, Coach told me that they don't need to force things at the opponent's end of the floor. They just need to wait for opportunities to present themselves and then take advantage of it when they do, Kevin. Thank you, Doris. So shooting is certainly on the menu early in this one. Well, when you get right down to it, that's the name of the game. You've got to put the ball in the basket. Chicago on D. Here's Billups. Throws it up. Kept alive. Backing down is Martin. Rodman covering. The second chance effort. Martin with the bucket. Martin's got his first points in this one. Here's Harper. He's guarded by Billups. Harper's shot's good. Here's Billups. Under four minutes left in the first. The alley-oop. Oh, and the jam by Anthony. Good execution on the break leads to the nice bucket. Here's Harper. Here's Pippen. Oh, he's bumped by the D and he'll go to the line. It's on Nene. And that one misses. Making a switch here, the Bulls. Kerr's checked in. So he comes up empty, missing both. Quick start for the Nuggets in this one. It's a three-point game. Phillips dishes to Anthony. Guarded by Jordan. Anthony against Jordan. Clock at four. And Carmelo Anthony again. Anthony's got seven points. These guys are doing an excellent job on offense here at the start of this game. Good shots leading to four or five shooting. Pass to Pippen. Buries the corner jumper. He's just so gifted offensively. He's a tough guy to match up with. Kerr against Billups. Anthony right side. He's picked up by Pippen. Anthony, the pass to Nene. Martin kicks to Anthony. They couldn't beat the buzzer. That's a turnover. Both teams deciding to change it up. And so here is Chicago. They trail by three. Rodman against Martin. Here's Pippen, and there's the whistle. Fouled hard on the shot. He'll go to the line. That's on Chris Anderson. First personal foul. That free throw missing. 
shooting in Chicago. Scotty Pippen. Two shots. Second free throw, no good. Well, the thing is that they haven't gotten it done at the line here early in the ball game. Now here's Billups. Anthony, guarded by Pippen. Arcs it high. Jordan against Smith. Takes it up. Bulls trail by three. Back and down is Jordan. Fades away. Martin gets the rebound. Really not enough defensive pressure there to force that miss. He's got to be disappointed. Here's Anthony. Phillips behind the arc. The Nuggets with another miss. 134 left in the first quarter. And uh, let's go to Doris Burke. Doris, what do you have for us? Well, Kevin, Aaron Aflalo came to the Denver Nuggets with a reputation as a hard worker. He was signed by the Nuggets at the suggestion of Chauncey Billups, who had familiarity with him because of their playing days together in Detroit. Billups said, I was confident that he'd be able to play for us. I told him and told everybody that once he got situated, he would make a name for himself. Guys, he did just that, enjoying his best season yet. Aflalo, a hard worker, Doris. Nice to see him make an impact. And here comes Kerr, not on the scoreboard yet. And the first time out of the game called for Chicago. So both teams changing it up here. And so here is Chicago. It's a five point game. Tipped. Nice anticipation right there to snatch that one. Smith. And the one handed jam to finish. A pretty finish right there, Kevin. Take it up and then throw that thing down. He didn't have to make it special, just get the job done. That's right, keep it simple. They're always catching the big action at the hoop from the Sprite Slam Camp. And it's the Bulls with the ball. The Nuggets getting the bucket. Here's Jordan, drops it in from 12 feet. Boy, the offense was firing on all cylinders that time. Lawson dishes to Anthony. The shot is off. So the Bulls will take it the other way. Six second difference between the shot and game clock. Here's Kerr. Lawson grabs the rebound inside. He's not giving an inch on defense. He really bothered that shot. Pass to Anthony. Nails the easy jumper. Anthony's got 11 points. Great awareness makes him a dangerous threat every time down the floor. He's done a good job of keeping everything outside. And some great offensive action to get this one underway in the first. Nuggets ahead, leading by seven. Well, they're scoring with ease. They've definitely hit the ground running. Let's see if they can keep it up. The NBA, here on 2K Sports. And the second quarter about to get underway. Here's Harper. So with Rodman on the bench, this is Phil Jackson's lineup. They've got Michael Jordan. Long way out there with Tony Kukoc. Then there's Pippen and Harper. And it'll go the other way. The Bulls turn it over. The line's there for a reason, young fella. Stay in the game. The Nuggets leading by seven. And here's a follow for three. And that's collected by Longley. And it's the Bulls with the ball. They trail by seven. He's getting the highlight reel play of the day for that one. Now that was a dunk. <laughs> he certainly put a little something extra into that slam. A little added pizzazz. <laughs> Lawson with it. Still looking to get on the scoreboard. Now a flop. Down to five on the shot clock. Three seconds left. Gets it to go. You don't have to worry about him leading the team in scoring, but he will find ways to get involved on the offensive end. Pass to Pippen. The three. 
Now Harrington grabs the board. And it's the Nuggets with the ball. Seven-point differential. Smith kicks to Nene. Back to Smith. He's picked up by Pippen. Smith against Pippen. Smith, the pass to Harrington. No good. Now Chicago takes it the other way. Outside Jordan. Now Lawson defending. Jordan up top. Lawson defending. Kukoc kicks to Jordan. Kukoc gets the bucket. Passes like that are fun to watch. Beautiful feed inside for the score. He placed it perfectly, Kevin. Lawson the pass to a flower. Guarded by Jordan. Back door, back door. Here's a follow. Guarded by Jordan. A follow. That's good. Here's Harper. 241 left in the second. And now our sideline reporter, Doris Burke, has some info for us. Doris, take it away. Well, Kevin, as you know, the philosophy of Denver Nuggets head coach George Carl is emphasizing a lot of free throws and points in the paint. He says the free throw is the second best shot in basketball, first is the layup. So, guys, last season, the Nuggets did them proud. They were tops in the league in free throws made and fourth in shots at the rim. Sounds like a winning combination, guys. All right, thank you, Doris. He got off to a slow start. It took him a little while to get into the flow of this game, but he's turned it on here in the second. Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. Both teams will make substitutions. Here's Longley. Outside Jordan. Over a follow. Jordan with the bucket. Jordan's got his second bucket of the night. You've got to close out on that mid-range jump shot. And here is Billups. No points for him. Here's a follow. He's picked up by Jordan. Here's Martin, goes up, buries the short-range shot. And the Nuggets lead by eight. You know, that's a good job of getting the ball down low like that. I mean, those are hard to stop from that range. Outside Jordan. Right side Jordan. On the line, and the Bulls tack on two more. They've been lights out. I mean, I like what I'm seeing right here. Still down on the scoreboard, but you get the sense that they're moving in the right direction. Now here's Billups. Martin with a screen on Jordan. The open shot, Anthony. Dennis Rodman pulls it in. Tough miss. They got a good look, just couldn't capitalize. Michael Jordan again. Jordan's got 10. When he gets it going like this, you've got to double team. That's your only hope. Here is Billups. Here's Anthony. And yes, a nice assist from Billups. Kicked it to the right guy at the right time. That's a good pass. Bulls trail by six. Kerr with it. Michael Jordan on the wing. Can't connect from the wing. This is definitely a day he'd like to forget. He just hasn't had the energy or the intensity to get it done out there. He's still scoreless. Phillips dishes to Anthony. That's a go from the wing. No good on that last second attempt there. He had a wonderful start to the game, an electric start. But it's really coming back down the earth here now. And so we wrap up the first half. Melo having a terrific game. He's got 13 points and a block. Boy, he was locked in in that whole half. We'll see you in just a moment live here from Chicago. It's Saturday night. We're feeling all right. Let's get you out to the HP Halftime Report. The Denver Nuggets have the lead against the Bulls at United Center. They played gritty D and have been hauling in the defensive rebounds. 
Kenyon Martin making his presence felt early. He's chipped in with a few points and has gone to work on the glass, grabbing a few rebounds. And the Bulls going all out. They've been working the ball inside, getting in close, easy points around the rim. Some terrific basketball from Michael Jordan. He's got 10 points and has added a couple assists in this one, too. These two have been on their game tonight. They've led the way for their teams in the scoring department. That's it for us now. Hope you enjoy the second half action coming up. And as the quarter begins, both teams have been trading blows like prize fighters. It's a close ball game. Here's Harper. The second half is underway, and here's who George Carl's got on the floor. Mello and Kmart at the forward slots. Billups and Aflalo are the backcourt. And Nene. Jordan with the bucket. Here's Billups. Still looking to get on the scoreboard. Back to Anthony. Anthony right side. He's picked up by Pippen. Five to shoot from downtown. And Carmelo Anthony hits from deep. Anthony's got 16. Here's Harper. He's guarded by Billups. Pippen. Now Anthony defending. Back to Harper. Off the pick. Kept alive. Here's Longley. And he drops it in on the way. Snares the offensive rebound, then sends it home. The Nuggets leading by five. Now here's Billups. It's Carmelo Anthony on the wing. Guarded by Pippen. He's picked up by Pippen. Baseline jumper. And Denver again with the bucket. He's really one of the big reasons why they have the lead now. He's playing an extremely efficient game. It's fun to watch. Chicago calls timeout. So both teams making some changes here. Here is Harper. And Billups picks him up defensively. Billups against Harper. Here's Jordan. And the Bulls with another miss. You've got to expect more out of him here. He's had a lot of difficulty this quarter, which in turn is making it difficult for them to cut into this deficit at all. Anthony backing him down. Shoots. And again, it's Denver. Well, that's an excellent job at getting to the bucket. They're rolling to start this half. Everything is clicking. Bulls trail by nine. Outside Harper. Pippen. Back to Harper. Lennington. And two free throws coming up as he misses that one. Drawing the whistle on a lot of contact there. It's on Nene. Contact certainly altered that shot. The official was right on top of it. He hits one and misses one, each at the line. Good opportunity here. And they've got a chance to push it to double digits. Now Billups. Not on the scoreboard yet. Anthony drawing the double team. Outside Billups. Back to Anthony. Well, now gets need to get a shot off here. For three. Billups, no good. Boy, he had a good look. I think everyone here was a bit shocked to see that one not fall through. Here's Jordan. Up high in town hall. Boy, he can produce some rim rattlers, Kevin. This guy can fly. Well, the whole building, Clark, knows what's going to happen when he goes up. Now here's Phillips. Pass to Anthony. He's picked up by Pippen. Off the screen, takes it up. Stolen by Pippen. The defense anticipated the kick out the whole time. Here's Jordan, cans it from in close. Jordan's got 16 points. Oh my goodness, nobody stopped the ball. The D made that much too easy for him. Phillips kicks to Anthony. Guarded by Pippen. Anthony against Pippen. Shot clock at five. 
With the fadeaway, the Nuggets with another miss. I think the defense was crowding him a little bit, threw him off some, so he had to fade just to get room to shoot, and then couldn't adjust. My goodness, Kevin, their offense has really caught fire. And if this keeps up, they won't be behind for long. Pippen against Anthony. Guarded by Pippen. Anthony's shot is off. We'll see what the coach has drawn up. Will they opt for the quick shot? Here's Harper. Stolen away. You know, both teams, Kevin, are just about even in terms of giveaways here, so no advantage either way. Nene with the screen on Jordan. Anthony against Rodman. Rodman against Anthony to stop the drought. Nene, the pass to Martin. A miss three. Here's Rodman. Here's Pippen. Oh, heartbreak. All or nothing there, and he couldn't knock it down. And so this one is tightly contested as we end the third. Carmelo Anthony really has his fingerprints all over this one. Yeah, he's been filling it up, Kevin. No surprise there. He's a guy who can really do damage when he's in a groove. Nuggets lead by one. And now let's send it to our sideline reporter, Doris Burke, for our spark spark of the game. Doris. Hey, Kevin, we've seen the spark in this game come from Carmelo Anthony. He'll no doubt be trying to build on what has been a fantastic performance for him. So far as the game hangs in the balance, we'll see if he can do it again, guys. Thank you, Doris. He has uh, surely activated this ball club. Well, an inspired performance. you got to love the effort and the energy he's given out there. Here is Billups. So with Rodman on the bench, this is Phil Jackson's lineup. Tony Kukoc is out there with Longley. Then it's Kerr. Then it's Michael Jordan. Now here's Anthony. He's picked up by Pippen. Anderson sets a pick. Anthony can't hit. An outstanding pick there, and he still couldn't get the basket. Next time he gets a look that good, he's got to make it count. Left side, Jordan. Nails the fadeaway. And the Bulls lead by one. I'm not a big fan of the fadeaway in that situation, but he drained it. Nice shot. Phillips dishes to Anthony. Guarded by Pippen. Now Anderson. Back to Anthony. Shoots over Pippen. And that one's good, Anthony. Anthony's got 22. These clubs have been lighting up the scoreboard all game long. Knocks it loose. And it's the Nuggets with the ball. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. Pass to Billups. They double him with Jordan. And here is Harrington. Down to five on the shot clock. With one second left, and Carmelo Anthony again. 24 points for him. Bulls trail by three. Chicago calls timeout. And now Doris Burke has an update from the sidelines. Hey, Kevin, during that last break, I heard Phil Jackson as he addressed his basketball team. He let his players know that they've got to do a better job on defense. He said, they're scoring any way they want. We've got to show some pride here. Let's make a stand defensively, get a stops, and get on a run of our own. Do they have it in them, Kevin? So both teams changing it up here. And so here is Denver. The Bulls knocking down the three. Lawson kicks to Anthony. Anthony right side. Shoots over Longley. Anthony missing again. And it's the Bulls with the ball. Rodman. And it's ripped down. Excellent pass on the play. Boy, when you run the fast break correctly, it's a thing of beauty. Nene, the screen. It's Carmelo Anthony on the way. Guarded by Kukoc. 
Harrington, the pass to Anthony. Pulls up, high post. Anthony missing again. So far, it's been a challenge. He's been unable to get it going here in the fourth. And here's Kerr. It's two on one. Here's Smith. Outside Anthony. Anthony drawing the double team. That's good. No one really contested him at the basket that time, Kevin. He's just too good in there to leave the door open for. And some changes for Chicago. Scotty Pippins checked in for Kukoc. And it's Harden in for Steve Kerr. The Nuggets also changing it up. Kenyon Martin is checked in for Harrington. Swallow comes in for J.R. Smith. And Chauncey Billups has subbed in for Ty Lawson. Jordan having a terrific game. He has 18 points and several assists. He's shown some flash with his passing and some grit with his board work. Perfect from the line, and it's a two-point ball game. Kevin, that's what you expect from him. When the pressure's at its highest, with the game on the line, that's when he's at his best. Phillips dishes to Anthony. Guarded by Pippen. Anthony kicks to Billups. Back to Anthony. Fires from the elbow. That's good. He's had a strong fourth quarter thus far. Really providing his team with a lot of offense. Now the Bulls with it. Harper with the ball. Now here's Jordan. Uh-oh. A little bit of a statement made there while he hung on the rim. That's one way to make sure the whole building knows exactly what you just did. Phillips passes to Anthony. And Kev, that's only his first giveaway for the game. Mm. It's Pippen on the win. Here's Jordan. No good. So the Nuggets will take it the other way. 58 seconds left to the fourth. Less than one minute left. Phillips dishes to Anthony. Back to Phillips. A three ball. That one falls coming off Anthony's feet. Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. They're behind by one. 25 seconds left in the game. Here's Harper. Here's a follow. Here's Jordan again, Chicago. Oh, that's much in the clutch. They needed that one, Kev. And here we go with Chauncey Billups. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. Anthony against Pippen. Pippen against Anthony. Shoots over Pippen. Kept alive. Gets the whistle, and he'll go to the line. Dennis Rodman picks one up. Tough interior defense means not allowing easy bats. Good foul. Seeks the first one, and that ties this game up. Gets them both, and now they have the lead. He came through. If they just get a stop, they'll walk away with the win. Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. They're down by one. Six seconds left to the fourth. Clark, what are your thoughts? They've got plenty of time here that they should be able to get a good shot. Don't worry so much about how much time you're leaving. Just focus on getting a good shot and making the basket. That's the right move. Stop the clock and hope they make a mistake you can take advantage of. Two for two, and it's a three-point ball game. Taking full advantage of the charity stripe here. Stretching that margin to three. So it's the Nuggets taking the W in a close one. It was tight, but they managed to come up with the win. You know, nobody wants to lose a close game, Kevin. It's much better to win those tight ones. Well, that'll do it. For Clark Kellogg and Doris Burke and the rest of the 2K Sports Group, this is Kevin Harlan saying so long. We'll see you next time. And as we leave, we give you our Jordan Brand Player of the Game, Carmelo Anthony.